Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE Perliant DL360 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on the different types of chassis and show you what are the specific differences. And we're going to use it as a good opportunity to do a complete overview of the chassis and point out some of the, uh, the key components. But really, this series as a whole covers all those different components in depth. So hopefully you find something useful in it. So let's hop in. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the HPE Perliant DL360 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor. If you find anything that helps you out in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, so this video is going to be focused on uh, the different types of chassis within the DL360 Gen 9. Um, and there's three types as a whole. As you can see, there's the uh, four bay large form factor, the eight bay small form factor, which is the one we've been building out in this series, and then the 10 bay small form factor. And really the biggest difference between uh, the different chassis is the storage, which makes sense, of course. But sometimes there's some little differences um, that you'll find as you go along uh, that there's really not too much outside of the fact that uh, because the four bay uh, has a large form factor drive in it, uh, it makes the chassis longer. So we'll actually pull them up next to, to next to each other in a minute and do a nice little aerial to show you that it's actually a, you know maybe an inch and a half, two inches longer. Um, you know, outside of that, the uh, the back planes are obviously different because you know you're having a, a four port versus an eight port versus a ten port, um, and then the uh, the cables that go to the back plane, you only need uh, one port for the four bay, two ports for the eight bay, and then three ports for the ten bay. But realistically, everything is the same once you get uh, past the drives and you get into the fans and the motherboard and the power supplies and that you know all the components that go inside. It's all the same after that point. Uh, so really, uh, the biggest differences that I would say are, uh, you know, obviously the storage um, and then the length of the four bay being longer, and that's about it. All right, have my ESD on, so we're safe to work inside our Perliant. So uh, we're just going to make sure both of our latches are set to unlock. We're going to pop the tops. And I should mention what I did here is I put, uh, this is the 10 bay small form factor, and this is the 8 bay small form factor. Uh, in a second, we'll pull the 4 bay next to the 8 bay, just to show you the length of the chassis and just show you the differences. But I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with these two to start, to show you realistically how they are the exact same, uh, minus the fact that there's 10 storage over here and 8 over here. So uh, we're going to lift the tops right now and hop on in. All right, so uh, this is the one we've been building out, and this is the one we'll do more of an overview on to point out some of the components. But if you look at it, uh, I mean, literally everything is the exact same coming down. Uh, you'll notice over here as we were talking about the, uh, the cabling that you have, uh, three ports versus uh, the two ports over here that you know that's one of the differences and obviously the back plane is different as far as having uh, you know ten ports on the back plane versus eight uh, but you know the the fans are the same the CPUs are the same the RAM is the same uh, you go over here uh, to your FLOM to your risers um, to uh, the power supplies uh, everything is uh, literally the exact same. And again, if you go to our website to custom build one of these, uh, we'll have all the different storage options for you there, uh, along with uh, new or used drives, depending on what you want. So I'll pull the uh, four bay over right now. Factor, and this is still the eight bay small form factor that we've been building. So we'll go ahead and do a, a little comparison of these as well. So you can again see how much longer the chassis is here. So I want to open this up to start. And if you notice, uh, where the fan banks start right here. So if I were to push the chassis forward and we make the fans even, then again, everything is the same from that point forward. The only difference is the chassis is a little bit longer because of the large form factor drives being longer, uh, like a 3.5 inch drive is obviously longer than the uh, 2.5 inch drive. So that's that's the difference really. So outside of that, again, all the same components, your fans, uh, your uh, heat, dual heat sinks with two CPUs inside, which are going to be uh, your V3, V4s that we had had did a, we've done a video on that as well. That'll show you uh, some of the ones that we recommend. Your 24 DIMM slots, your RAID, your dual power supplies. Again, your NIC, your FLOM. I mean, everything again is the exact same. Um, it all boils down to storage, as we've said uh, several times. That's the only difference, which is nice. Uh, makes it kind of easy and convenient when you're working on these to know uh, exactly uh, what you're what you're dealing with. And I should mention uh, the PCIe slots in the back. You're going to have uh, two low profile and one high profile. And again, 
all the same for all three chassis. So, well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, if you're looking for new, if you're looking for use, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center's business or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.